after about 10 days at Magnetic Island. Uh, we just up anchored this morning. We're going to shoot across to Townsville. Uh, get into the marina there, we hope. Um, Gay's got a few things to do down south, so she's going to go down and pick up a car and, and come back up. So it'll be a bit different uh, being in the marina. But it's been uh, a good spot here at Townsville. We're sort of just waiting for some northerlies to head a bit further south now, but um, none around at the moment. It's all southeast, so we'll go, I'll go to the marina for a while. We might end up back here, out here <coughs> waiting for northerlies again, but we'll just see how it goes. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Well, a bit of a sad day today. Um, we're heading back to the marina at uh, Townsville. Park the boat up there. Uh, Gay's heading back down south. She's got things to do, so um, she's packing up the stuff and she's going to head back down south and get some stuff done. So uh, we won't see her for a while. But anyway, we'll probably spend a week in the marina and try and get some northerly to head a bit further south ourselves. Just see how it goes. <laughs>
Well, this is something uh, that you never want to happen to your boat. We've come into the marina at uh, Townsville, and this only happened about three days ago. So, uh, something you never want to happen. I'm always very worried about fire, especially at sea and in a marina. They were very lucky they didn't lose a few more boats. Um, apparently, they're not sure what caused it. Could have been an electrical fault, something like that. They weren't fueling up or doing anything. They just moved from one pen into the marina over to here, tied the boat up, and when they shut the engines down, it caught fire. And I uh, feel very sorry for the owners. They're apparently new to boating, and um, yeah, you've got a feel for them losing their boat like this. Um, but yeah, it just shows you how it can go wrong so quickly. Apparently, uh, the marina staff were great at uh, uh, keeping people out of the way and getting uh, control of the fire relatively quickly. They virtually had to sink the boat to put it out uh, and now it's going to be salvaged I guess but I'd say she's a complete write-off for sure. Well, this will be the last voyage for this old girl. Uh, the salvage boys are towing it over to Rosshaven where she'll be lifted out of the water and uh, I don't think she'll see it again. You'd hope the owners can regroup and uh, get another boat and get back into cruising but uh, There'd be a fair bit of trauma involved in that, I reckon. But that'd be a very hard decision to make, I guess. Uh, backpack on this morning. Just uh, walked up the coals and did a bit of shopping. We got too much, actually, to fit on the heavy side. But anyway, we'll get it back. Uh, not very far from the marina to walk up here. It's probably only about, I don't know, half a k or so. And you walk up along the strand, so it's pretty interesting. But, um, yeah, I'll just come up each day, do a little bit of shopping, and they have got a courtesy car at the marina. You can uh, use that for a couple of hours. The cold's pretty close, so it's a bit of exercise, I guess. Okay, I'm probably about to uh, kill myself, but anyway, I've hired a Neuron scooter. Plenty of them around uh, Townsville to Get you back to the marina. There we go. Well, I just got off the hog <laughs> and uh, back at the marina. Didn't kill myself. It was a good way of doing it, actually. I don't know what it cost. It's about six bucks, I think. So it was a um, pretty handy way of. Uh, getting the groceries back to the boat. I might do that again tomorrow. Bit of fun for an old dude. Good morning dudes. Well I'm in the marina and it's uh, boat wash day today. So I'm just giving the old girl a bit of a tub up. Uh, I use a product from Cleaner Works called um, Wash and Wax. And it washes the boat, but it puts a great little coat of uh, canubra wax on the gel coat and painted surface as well. It's great when people come up and say, gee, you keep your boat looking nice. And with uh, that Cleaner Works product, it's pretty easy. It's virtually a matter of washing the boat and leaving a bit of wax on the gel coat. It, uh, it comes up really good. And I find that if you do your hulls with the, with, uh, wash and wax, the wash and wax product, um, it doesn't get that brown stain around the waterline. It keeps that off as well. So nearly finished. Uh, I've been up at it since seven. It's about a two hour job. I started on the roof and worked my way down to the hulls. So it's about a two hour job. And after that, I'm having a coffee. Well, uh, Gay has jumped ship. She had a friend that was coming up from Mackay to have a look at a boat here. And um, the original plan was she was going to go down and pick up her car and then come back up and we could have used it here. But uh, anyway, she decided uh, that she's going to head further south once she gets the car. So she's packed up all of her gear and uh, she's jumped off the boat. Whether she comes back or not, who knows. Uh, she wants to buy a house or land or something like that. So it's going to be a long project for her doing all that. And um, 
Yeah, not my cup of tea. So it looks like it'll be down to uh, a bit of cruising by myself again. Ah well, I'm getting used to it. Another big day today. Uh, I've washed and waxed the, waxed the boat. Uh, got up at 7 o'clock I think and did all that. So uh, that's all done and I'm just going for a walk up the Strand. So I might take you up to Townsville and uh, show you what's in walking distance from the marina. Okay, right across from the marina you've got the fish and chip shop, pizza shop and an ice cream parlour. Pretty handy but uh, I'm looking for some breakfast. Nothing there to eat so we'll try somewhere else. Pretty calm day today out at Maggie. Hope it hangs on till tomorrow. Let's find some coffee. Well, beauty, I'm sitting here looking at Magnetic. Uh, gonna get a toasty for breakfast and uh, a mug of cappuccino and life will be great again. Even the rain's gone, I think, so uh, it's starting to fine up a bit. Well, last job, I've uh, just finished putting a bit of water on the boat. We've got to leave tomorrow. I've been here at the Breakwater Marina for a week now. And it's a great spot uh, for a bit of a stopover. It's close to Magnetic Island, so if you're looking at resupplying, it's a good spot to do it. The staff here are friendly, can't be any more helpful. They have a courtesy car that you can use to go and do your shopping. The Coles is only one kilometre from the marina, so uh, you can walk up there or you could even hire one of the uh, hire scooters they have all around Townsville. So we've had a really good stay here, um, and I can recommend it to anyone looking at travelling up the coast. There's even a, a cruiser's veggie garden uh, up near the office, and it's a very sociable marina. Um, people that are here full time and cruisers seem to get together every afternoon for a bit of a drink up in the uh, common area so a um, very sociable place to stay. Anyway we've enjoyed our time here but uh, it is time to head back out. Well it's time to go uh, and I've been tossing up whether I'm just going to go out and anchor up in the dunk pond and um, stay there for another couple of days and try and run down to uh, early Monday and Tuesday, but I'm not really sure that the weather's going to uh, um, do what we want. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, just spend an hour and a half going back out to Magnetic, out to Horseshoe Bay, and we'll prop there for a while and wait for it. Not a great day today, a little bit overcast, a bit of southeast blowing still, so getting those northerlies this time of year is pretty hard, but um, yeah, if we get out to Horseshoe, it's a great spot to wait for them, I guess. In here, let's get the show on the road.
as always, it's uh, good to get out of the marina. Be heading out to sea again. We've only got about an hour and a half and we'll be around at Horseshoe Bay. And uh, we'll anchor up there and make our plans from there, I think. <laughs>